video lesson, lesson for you all today about uh, clucking. It's a really simple, really cool technique uh, that can add a lot of percussion to your playing. So high level overview clucking is really just a harmonic. Um, just, you know, like you have harmonics all over your banjo. The difference being is when you're doing a cluck, you're finding that harmonic and you're doing a hard whack at the strings or string in question um, to, to give it that, uh, that sound. So it's the technique of clucking is really just using, uh, some people use the same striking finger, some people use different fingers. It's going to vary from person to person. Um, I know that's sort of uh, a vague, you know, description of it, but it's true in that all of our hands are shaped differently, and especially whenever we do our claw, everyone has different way that their hand relaxes. So, you know, for and everyone has different striking fingers. So I strike with my index finger and I cluck with my two middle fingers. I don't know why I do it that way. I just, back in the day when I was picking around playing banjo at old time jams, I just used to, you know, before you get to step up in the circle, you hang back and play a lot of rhythm till you learn the songs. And I just started clucking along and it was adding a lot of uh, rhythm to the jam. And I always thought that that was really fun. So I don't know why, but that's just the way my, my fingers hang. So for, for me personally, you know, I play up in my scoop a lot. Everybody, everyone else's banjo is going to have its own individual sweet spots. So it's really going to depend on where your harmonics are um, on your banjo neck, and it's going to depend on the way that your fingers land. So, I mean, you can see on my scoop here where I've worn the finish off over the years of just drop thumb after drop thumb, and so I ride here a lot. I have a sweet spot for my, my cluck right about where the neck and the pot meet. So I'm striking with my index and I'm just clucking. And it's almost like, for me, like I said, I use two fingernails together. So when I'm doing this, I'm striking and then I'm, I'm boom, I'm coming down with these two. It's not a brush. It's just, it's, it's like, I could really only describe it as like a whack. You're just whacking at it. So to find your sweet spots, I want you to just take your banjo and open, throw in some chords and just start looking around and doing that. Don't use your, if you want to use your striking finger, that's fine. Like I said, for me, I, I, I use my striking finger differently. Um, you know, it depends on what you want to do, but it is going to be a different movement than you're used to. So you're going to just look around like this. I got one there. As you go up higher, you can hear deeper harmonics up here. There's my sweet spot. And maybe let's go a little higher. You can hear the sound kind of changing. And I don't, I don't typically play up this high, so I'd, I'd have to do some digging myself to find them up here. Um, so really what it does is, is, for an example, you know, at the top of the video, I was playing Cumberland Gap, and that takes that song from sounding like this. To this. So maybe you're not after the clucking sound, you know, the, the first version I just played there a couple of seconds ago is perfectly fine. It's a lot softer, um, but uh, I can tell you it, it does, it adds some jive to your jam uh, whenever you're playing. So um, the technique itself is not hard to master. What is a little more difficult is implementing it into your playing. So, you know, a lot of people, and I still tend to do this, you know, I, I cluck at the wrong time. And because if you're playing a melody, you can lose the note by doing that cluck. So that's why I strike with a different finger. So when I'm coming down, you know, I'm, I'm getting that. And not going. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's there on like the, the second beat. So you don't want to be doing it every beat, you know, it'll just be, almost sound like you're not, you're playing a, like a washboard or something, uh, which isn't a bad thing, but you're playing the banjo. Um, so give it a shot. Let me know what you think. 
Lessons are always free. Tabs are always free. Tips are appreciated should you feel so inclined. Got to keep all these instruments strung up here. Um, but that's not what's important. What's important is playing some better tunes. So thanks for watching.